Formaldehyde releases are, are preservatives. They are so incredibly effective, which is unfortunate because that's what helps manufacturers keep costs low. So they'll put these formaldehyde releasing preservatives in their products. They might argue, oh, it's low level formaldehyde, but it's still formaldehyde. What is it doing in your product as an intentionally added ingredient is the question. What kind of products? You see it a lot in hair care, a lot of hair care products. And the thing with hair care is a lot of people might think, well, I've rinsed it off. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. We actually have a considerable amount of chemical absorption in its scalp simply because of how many hair follicles and how much vascularization there is there, how much blood flow you get to the scalp. So it isn't necessarily something that I would ignore. Shampoo is something that I have absolutely cleaned up and especially for the children. Sometimes my kids like to play with the shampoo. They want to keep it on their head and make their hair into like a funny mess or something like that. And so I make sure that the shampoo that you're putting on your kids is, is, is safe. And formaldehyde also is in wrinkle-free sheets and stuff like that. That's usually what makes them wrinkle-free. So formaldehyde is used for so many things to preserve it, to keep it in the same shape, the compounds staying the same. It's like the same usability, but in different products that we need or, or we think we need it in. You know, who needs wrinkle-free sheets? Come on now, right? Right. These things that we didn't know we needed and then right. people get hooked on them and then it just builds from there. And then we start getting the nonstick cookware. The list goes on and on. Just the wrinkle-free, the stain guard, that kind of stuff. 